So welcome on in everyone. So good to have all of you here as we come together in community. I'm just feeling really grounded in that, feeling really supported in this coming together. I'm just taking a few moments. So welcome to our mindfulness moment. So this week feels heavy and I reside here in Texas, a state that is really feeling the tragic events of this week and really the suffering that is felt throughout the country and the world perhaps. And so this is very heavy and this, this suffering feels very palpable. And so we're all processing in our own way. And as I consider how to hold myself during this difficult time, I'm reminded of the importance of this work, of, of these mindfulness moments. And I'm reminded of an ancient teaching and practice of Tonglen, which I would really like to bring forward into our meditation for today. So Tonglen is Tibetan. It's a term that translates to sending and taking. So the usual human response in unpleasantness, discomfort or suffering is to seek out ways to avoid or to escape it. But through the practice of Tonglen, instead we are approaching suffering with acceptance and use it to open our hearts and to connect with others. So the essence of this practice is to take in the suffering as we inhale with our breath and then breathe out a wish to relieve that suffering. And so you're really using the heart to transform darkness and suffering into light and giving. So I'd like to guide you through a Tonglen practice. And so first we begin by dropping into ourselves. So I'll invite you now just to really situate yourself where you can feel comfortable where you are. Just allowing yourself to really drop in and ground into the space. And sensing Sensing your body here as you are seated or lying down or really however you want to be. Just however you choose to be in this moment, giving yourself permission to be right here and to settle in. Also giving yourself permission to set aside all the happenings of the week, of your day the to-dos, things that are maybe even yet to come. Just letting that fall away. And for just a moment, you might even glimpse just a still, quiet mind. And just a brief moment between thoughts. And we can rest in that stillness. And we can connect with our breath. And finding the breath. So just noticing how you are breathing in this moment. Just feeling how that breath is moving in the body. And connecting with your life force that is the breath that's always moving, always flowing. How is it arriving for you? And so too, noticing any sort of emotions that you might be holding on to or thoughts. And just how these emotions might be affecting and shaping the breath in any way. Just acknowledging what is there for you. And through the practice of Tonglen, we take on through compassion, the mental and physical suffering of others. 
And so just calling to mind those who may be suffering. So this could be a particular area, group of people, country, or even just one person in particular. And so maybe it's not about the current situation, or maybe it is. And but breathing into the physical discomfort, the pain of those who have lost loved ones. And find some place on the planet in your personal life or someone or something another being that you know about who may be suffering and breathe in with the wish that those beings could be free of suffering and as you breathe out imagine those beings finding some sense of relief and ease So we breathe in with the longing to remove suffering. And breathe out, relax out. Enough space so people's hearts and minds feel big enough to live with the fear, the anger, the sadness, the despair. So just breathing in this way, inhaling to take away suffering, exhaling, sending out, breathing out safety and comfort for those who are in need. Breathing in a wish to relieve suffering As you exhale, sending out that relief. And so taking in as fully as you can and radiating out as widely as you can. And allowing yourself to be with this practice with this, in as big of a way or as small as a way as you feel you are able to in this moment. And allowing feelings to arise within you. These feelings that help give us the energy that we need. And so continuing to breathe in this way, breathing in the wish to take away the suffering and breathing out the wish to send comfort and happiness. Again, this may be one individual or maybe it's a group of people Or maybe it's not a person, but maybe an animal or any living being. And just resting your mind and resting your heart on those who are suffering. And if you so choose, you might even imagine this exchange, this Sending, taking as a transition of darkness into light. So inhaling to relieve all beings, including yourself, including yourself of darkness and distress. 
And with the exhale, imagining sending out soothing rays of light, like rays of sunshine or maybe radiant moonbeams. These beams that fill the world with benevolent and compassionate healing. And so with each breath, the darkness begins to transform through the natural goodness and the light of your heart. And with each exhale, allowing yourself to settle into this basic goodness, your truest nature, your inner light, a desire to alleviate pain and suffering for all beings everywhere. Breathing in the darkness, the suffering, the pain, allowing it to fill your heart where it is then touched by your own inner goodness, transformed by your light of compassion. And so too, with whatever extent possible, being with this exchange, breathing into your heart and breathing out your affectionate heart, it radiates soothing, gentle light that reaches into the hearts of those who need it most, those who are suffering. And with each breath, your goodwill, maybe it can reach just a little bit further, even further expanding your goodness and soothing gentle light of freedom, of peace that is so soothing and comforting. And so resting here just a few more moments longer. Inhaling the darkness, the pain. And breathing out light, compassion, and relief. And as your eyes begin to open, acknowledging that there are others here in this shared tongue lend practice. And as we bring this meditation to a gentle close, you may choose not to speak or to speak from your own heart. And remaining here as long as you'd like and lingering in the fruits of your practice and wishing you all intentions for goodwill and safety and happiness and peace. Thank you.